Then to end the talk, I will do a very short analytical meditation on the two views of emptiness to give a brief taste of the Dharmakaya bliss Buddha nature that is empty of other. So first we will meditate on the empty of self view. Close your eyes and bring to mind all the people you have known who are sick or who have passed away, how nothing lasts and is continually decaying. Then bring to mind how there is so much suffering in the world caused by negative thoughts and intentions such as greed, anger, hatred, jealousy, selfishness, and so on. Reflect on how even people who are very wealthy, physically beautiful, and so on, still experience the suffering of old age, sickness, and death. And then remember how internal happiness and satisfaction thus cannot be found outside in such conditioned impermanent phenomena or beings. So now we will move on to the empty of other view and the Buddha nature. So now bring to mind people or activities or even food that you really love and care about, about the most blissful experience you've had. Reflect on how every being you know wants to feel happy, blissful, satisfied, and loved. For example, remember how it felt looking at a beautiful sunset, a beach, ocean, or mountain, a flower, or even falling in love. That peaceful, joyful state of mind, free of concepts, relaxed, and at ease in the moment. Remain in that state for a short time. Reflect on how wonderful it would be if all beings could feel that sense of bliss, ease and ecstasy and beneficial and positive mental states. Reflect also that such a state is not dependent on outside phenomena, but can be generated and found within. So that short meditation is to give you a brief taste of the difference in focus between the empty of self and the empty of other view. As you can hear, the empty of self view focuses more on the impermanent conditioned nature of phenomena and beings in samsara, how nothing lasts and causes suffering due to our clinging onto self and other and identities. Whereas the empty of other view focuses within on the Buddha nature qualities, such as infinite love, compassion, joy, wisdom, bliss, and so on. These qualities are unconditioned and eternally present in the nature of mind and reality. Thus, they are seen as unchanging and spontaneously present at all times. These inherent qualities are what unite all beings rather than separate us. So it is with that meditation I end this talk. May it be of benefit and may it help us all attain a fully awakened state of Buddha the bliss emptiness dhammakaya.